I play Sterling. Sterling is, uh, he's a smart guy. He's a charming fellow. Uh, Sterling has his finger on the pulse and his eye on the future. He's a businessman. He knows what the trends are. He knows where things are going and he knows how to succeed. He is a success because he knows how to succeed. And he wants to bring lightning into that success and be a part of that. Sterling recognizes that Lightning is a brand, and the brand has a lot of value, and Lightning is a winner, and he wants to pull Lightning out of the racing while he's a winner to protect the brand, and to protect Lightning McQueen. I mean, it's, it's all for the good of everyone, really. He, he'll make money, he's, he remains a success, um, the brand is protected, McQueen remains a winner, but he, McQueen is not ready to stop racing. Cruz Ramirez, she is tough. She's tough. And uh, she knows what she's doing. And I think is someone who is prime and ready for the right opportunity. She is very smart, very clever, and uh, will not be refused. I think she's got a lot of heart. And, uh, and she's just ready for the right opportunity to succeed. Brian Fee directing Cars 3. Here's what's super handy, uh, especially in animation when you're doing voiceovers. Most of the work is done out of sight and, and, and far away from where I am and when I'm doing my work. Uh, I often describe uh, voiceovers as simply the pepper. Pixar makes the meal, we bring the pepper. And what's important is having someone there, a director like Brian, who understands the movie, who understands the characters, who understands the journey that he can walk you through because you're not there on the set with the actors, working things out, acting it. That's all taken care of by other people. So you need someone uh, who can marry all the elements together and inform everyone as to what everyone else is doing and, 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 and marry them together and, and, and make it work. That's Brian.